Hey, sports card collectors and investors. We have made it to Football Sunday. I'm excited, um, but today actually we're going to be talking about the NBA. We're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers. They have punched their ticket to the NBA Finals. What does that mean for their cards? Are they going up? Um, you know, some of these might actually surprise you. If you have not subscribed already, please do so. We have over 240 videos on the channel. We put out daily content on all things collectibles, personal finance, uh, sports card investing, all types of different investment financial things. So please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like to help support the channel in another way, um, in the description we have Amazon links. We are Amazon affiliates. And so any qualifying purchases made through those links, we do get a small commission as an Amazon affiliate. We appreciate all your support. We will go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, the Los Angeles Lakers are heading to the finals. LeBron James is on, he's just cruising towards that fourth championship. And it looks like nothing can really stop them. I mean, if you look at the, the Celtics and the Heat have been really impressive in the East, but I, I believe the consensus was, you know, really whoever wins the West, whether it be the, the Clippers uh, or the Lakers, I believe were kind of those front running teams. And, you know, the, the Nuggets surprised the Clippers. And, but now, you know, the, the Lakers have taken care of the Nuggets and here we are. And it just looks like the, the Lakers are cruising in. Um, and who knows, wouldn't it be an amazing storyline if the Heat or the Celtics were able to knock off the mighty Lakers? But what we're going to look at today are card prices associated with various players on, on the Lakers team. And then has there been any changes? Has there been any increases over the last 24 hours, 12 hours, I suppose, you know, with the, the Lakers going to the finals? And just in general, with them kind of in this trajectory going to the finals, what have we seen with, with some of these prices? So Let's go ahead and dig right into it. I'm going to talk about um, first, actually, I'm not going to get into LeBron and AD yet. I'm going to talk about Kyle Kuzma. Um, and so this is just one data point. This is just one card for Kyle Kuzma, but it's an important one for him because it's the Prism Silver Rookie, which is what a lot of collectors are going after. It's a 2017-18 Prism Silver Kuzma and a PSA 10. And this card is interesting. So this one, it looks like, has gotten a little bit of a boost. In the middle of September, this was the, there was an auction that went for two hundred and twenty-six dollars and fifty cents. Just a couple of days ago, nine twenty-four, there were two sales: one at three hundred and thirty, another at three hundred and thirty-five dollars. And then it looks like it, I believe this was last night, or kind of closing in on on the game ending. Um, there was a sale at four hundred and twenty-five dollars. A buy it now uh, that happened. You know, so and look, the, there's not a lot of transactions. We're not looking at a dozen transactions to, to really get a good feel, but that does show you a pretty dramatic price difference in seven days. No, no, in what, 10 days from $226 to $425 for, for Kuzma. So that's an interesting card to follow. And it's, again, it's one of those things of, you know, is it going to go up in value if they win the finals or has, you know, is it all about the lead up to the events? And that's something that I think is really interesting. You'll see when we're talking about all these cards, it's kind of a question mark as to why this is happening and, and what controls it and all the different variables when we're investing in sports cards. Okay, next up, we've got the 2012 Prism Anthony Davis PSA 10 rookie card. This is a weird chart, guys. This is just a weird um, it, do, it doesn't make sense if you're looking at it from the standpoint of performance. You know, if you're looking at it from the performance standpoint, it doesn't really jive with where the prices should be if, if we're kind of thinking logically based on that. This card, believe it or not, was as high as $3,600 on, on October, excuse me, on August 9th. August 9th, so we're talking five weeks ago. And look, I mean, the Lakers have been, if, if you're looking at kind of what the Lakers have been doing. They've been cruising along. Um, Anthony Davis has had a really good postseason. He's, you know, LeBron James gets a lot of the credit for the Lakers, but AD is a critical, critical component. I believe that he's just as important as LeBron. I know some people will say, you know, LeBron, you know, the, all the LeBron lovers, I have a lot of friends too that are huge, huge LeBron fans. I get it. You know, he's, he's in that GOAT conversation. But at 35 years of age, he needs some help. And Anthony Davis is that help. Anthony Davis makes it all go along with LeBron, um, you know. And, and so I think that he, Anthony Davis, doesn't get enough credit. I don't think on that front, um, you know, he's an absolute beast. But this card was as high as uh, as thirty six hundred dollars at the beginning of August, November twelfth, fifteen hundred and fifty dollars, fifteen hundred and fifty dollars. And AD did nothing 
that, that I saw, I mean, maybe he had he maybe tweaked a, had a little injury or something that had him out of game or something, but there's nothing that I really saw from a performance standpoint that would that would make his cards drop 70%, 65% in a month. Now they have climbed back and now they're selling in the $2,000 range, sales at $2,050. So I guess my question is, is will it ever get back to $3,600? If they win the finals and AD gets a ring, does it go back to $3,600? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to climb that high. Will it go to $5,000? Maybe. Maybe it will. And I think that that's what's so interesting about these cards. you know. And it's and for people that are watching and maybe for investors or Lakers fans, are you buying AD right now? Actually, an, another content creator um, that, that I uh, collaborate with and talk with quite a bit, uh, Flipping Steve, I know that he owns one of these or he did own one of these. I know he, I believe he bought one maybe a month ago. Steve, let me know in the comments, are you selling? Are you gonna hold on to this thing? What are you thinking? Is it a long-term hold? Um, and I know I'm kind of calling you out. You don't have to comment if you don't want to, but um, I just thought that you're a guy, I was just thinking off the top of my head, you're a guy I know that that, that has one of these. Um, and I'm just kind of curious what, what AD rookie card holders are thinking right now. It's, it's It just baffles me, some these prices. All right, next we're talking about Dwight Howard, uh, who actually had a really good game a couple nights ago. 2004 Topps Chrome Dwight Howard rookie card in a PSA 10. This is another one where, uh, it, look, I mean, the pop report's not very high. There's not a lot of these that were graded. I think there's 150 or so of these, so there's not a ton of these out there. Um, June 16th, this card was at $123. September 20th, so a week ago, as high as $295. But then there was a sale on the 22nd, and it looks like that's the last sale that, that I can find anyway at $225. So it's it's kind of it's gone way up, it's come back down. Um, and you know, that, that's a guy where, you know, Howard, you know, he's got you could make an argument that he, he's had a Hall of Fame career stats wise. He's he's been, I mean, lately he hasn't been fantastic over the last few years. He's he's been a good role player for the Lakers. He's getting up there in age. Really, really dominant player for the Magic. I remember going and watching him play when I lived in Orlando um, in the late uh, 2000s, 2008, 2009. Man, was he, is he a, was he a force, and, and he's still a good player. Uh, but if he adds a ring, what does that mean for his legacy? Curious to, to hear from you all because, I mean, if you're looking at that card in particular, low pop, it's 2004, so, I mean, how many of those are going to... How I mean, they're, they're, they're probably out there in binders somewhere. How many of them are going to be 10s? I don't know. That's kind of an interesting card at a couple hundred bucks. Uh, interesting card. All right, next up we're going to talk about the, the big kahuna, LeBron James, 2003 Topps Chrome and a PSA 10. And this is another kind of baffling card. What does it all mean? And I would like to hear from, from you all too. Um, you know, I, I want to hear your opinions. What do you think on this card? So at the end of July, this thing got all the way up to 16 grand. 16 grand for this card. Now, to give you some perspective, a year ago, this was a $2,000 card. One year ago, 2000 now it's 16 Incredible, incredible jump. Well, I shouldn't say now. July, at the end of July, $16,000 card. September 6th, it's a $10,900 card. And then here recently, it looks like yesterday, there was a, a buy it now at $13,900. <laughs> But again, from you know, from July to September, it dropped five thousand dollars, and LeBron's just been trucking along. It's not as if you know, from a performance perspective, anything happened. He's still been on that. He's been marching towards that that title, and his card dropped five thousand dollars. Now, I suppose you could say this is some sort of a correction um, that the pricing just went it went too high. But LeBron is in that Michael Jordan conversation. You know, are, would, would we say the same about '86 Flair Jordan rookie cards? Maybe. I mean, maybe have they been just inflated and now they're coming back, they're correcting, coming back down to life, or is it people taking a breather? But I guess my point is this 2003 Topps Chrome is, you can put it in iconic card status with that 86 Fleer card. Um, now, look, is it as, as rare as the 86 Fleer Jordan? Probably not. It's not. It's not as rare. But for this generation, it, it might be a more important card than the MJ rookie card because a lot of a lot of people that, you know in this generation didn't watch Michael Jordan play like I did. So for for some of those young you know for those twenty somethings, early thirty you know somethings uh, age group, you know that LeBron James card is more important to them than the MJ card. So 
I just think, you know, that that's a really interesting card to watch. Shocking that it was at $2,000 a year ago. Do you think it's going up if the Lakers win the title? Is that going to 20 grand? Is it going to 30 grand? Is it is it sitting there at 13? And I think that those are the, that's a fun thing about what we're doing here is not really knowing and watching all this kind of play out. But I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments. Are the Lakers going to win it? Or are we going to see some heat magic? Are we going to see some Celtics magic? Um, I want to hear from you guys. So thanks again for tuning in, and we will talk to you again soon. Take care.